Hi friends. How do you do? Fine? Great. Let's get ready to embark on a quiltastic adventure as we unravel the enchanting world of porcupines. These seemingly prickly fellows might be nature's spiky enigmas, but behind those formidable quills lies a realm of astonishing facts that'll leave you in awe. Join us as we dig deep into 10 intriguing mysteries and more, with a witty twist that'll keep you entertained and enlightened. So, fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to uncover the wild, spiky, and utterly captivating world of porcupines like never before. Gentle Giants Porcupines, despite their intimidating quill-covered appearance, are gentle and solitary creatures. They're the quiet types, often hiding during the day and emerging at night. In fact, a group of porcupines is called a prickle, but don't expect to see a prickle casually hanging out. They only join forces during mating season, after which they return to their solitary ways. It's quite surprising that these creatures, armed with quills that can deter even the boldest of predators, are so peaceful. They only become aggressive if cornered or threatened, opting for a defensive approach rather than initiating conflict. So, next time you see a porcupine, rest assured that the spiky critter is more interested in munching leaves and living its quiet life than causing any trouble. Tree-hugging porcupines. When it comes to porcupines, there are two major groups, Old World and New World porcupines. Among these, the New World porcupines, found in the Americas, have a remarkable quirk, they love to climb trees. But why do they indulge in this arboreal adventure? One reason is their fondness for bud leaves that appear on the edges of tree branches. These tasty mussels draw them up into the treetops. Another motive is finding a cozy spot to rest during the day. These tree-loving porcupines have adapted to an interesting lifestyle, making them the arboreal aficionados of the porcupine world. So, next time you're in the Americas, don't forget to look up, you might spot a porcupine perched high in the treetops. The not-so-graceful tree climbers while New World porcupines might be enthusiastic about tree climbing, they're not exactly experts. In fact, their tree climbing escapades can be downright perilous. These spiky adventurers often take tumbles from the heights they seek. What's even more astonishing is that these falls can have fatal consequences. Porcupines may have robust quills to protect themselves, but their heads are quite delicate. A fall that affects the head can be deadly, adding an unexpected twist to their tree-bound escapades. So, as it turns out, porcupines may need a few lessons in climbing etiquette. Quills with a healing touch. Porcupine quills aren't just menacing weapons, they come with a built-in superpower. These sharp, needle-like quills possess natural antibiotics. When porcupines accidentally injure themselves with their own quills, these antibiotics kick in to heal the wounds and prevent infections. Imagine having a first aid kit embedded in your skin. It's a remarkable adaptation that keeps porcupines safe from their own defensive mechanisms. So, while their quills may appear fearsome, they're actually a source of protection and healing for these spiky creatures. The Quill Drop Show Ever heard of a porcupine launching quills like projectiles in self-defense? Well, that's a bit of a myth. Porcupines don't exactly shoot their quills, but they have a clever trick up their sleeves. They can drop their quills at will. When porcupines feel threatened or agitated, they raise their quills, making themselves look larger and more menacing. If that's not enough to deter a predator, they can release quills onto the ground in the predator's path. It's like leaving a spiky surprise for any would-be attackers. So, while they may not be archers, porcupines have a unique way of defending themselves. Quills that keep on hurting. While porcupines may escape harm from their own quills, these spiky weapons can be quite lethal to other animals. Porcupine quills are not just sharp, they're also incredibly challenging to remove once embedded in flesh. When a predator encounters a porcupine and gets quilled, the quills can penetrate deeply into their flesh and muscle, causing excruciating pain. These quills can remain inside the predator's body for weeks as they slowly work their way through the tissues. It's an agonizing ordeal that can lead to the unfortunate demise of the attacker. So, when it comes to porcupines, it's best to tread lightly. 
attacking in reverse. Porcupines are not known for their aggressive behavior, as they spend most of their lives peacefully munching on leaves and living solitary lives. However, when faced with a persistent predator, they employ a rather unique defensive tactic. First, porcupines try to deter predators by making loud noises, standing tall to appear more prominent, and dropping quills in their path. But if these warnings don't do the trick, they resort to their ultimate defense, attacking in reverse. Thanks to their backward pointing quills, they can charge at their assailant while backing away. It's a comical yet surprisingly effective way of warding off threats. So, next time you see a porcupine moonwalking away from danger, you'll know it's their last line of defense. The Quill Factory Porcupines are equipped with a remarkable feature, a quill factory, so to speak. An adult porcupine typically has around 30,000 quills on its body, and these quills are easily detachable. When a porcupine's quills come into contact with a predator, they can be dislodged without much effort. This means that a porcupine won't become tethered to its attacker by its quills. But what's even more astonishing is their ability to grow new quills quickly. Just two days after losing quills, a porcupine will start growing replacements. This ensures that they never run out of their iconic defense mechanism. It's a remarkable adaptation that keeps porcupines well equipped to face the challenges of the wild. The unconventional love life of female porcupines. Mating season in the porcupine world is not your typical love story. Female porcupines have some rather unconventional habits when it comes to romance. During this time, they use various objects as, let's say, sexual aids. Yes, you heard that right, sticks, twigs, and other objects become tools in their amorous endeavors. But it doesn't stop there. Female porcupines also have a unique vocal repertoire for attracting potential mates. In the wild, this often results in male porcupines competing and even fighting over the attention of a female. So, while porcupines may appear reserved and solitary, things get quite lively when love is in the air. Blind but not helpless. Porcupines might not win any awards for their vision, but they've compensated by developing exceptional hearing. These creatures have poor eyesight, which is one of the reasons they're primarily nocturnal. They spend their days hidden away, avoiding the dangers that lurk in the daylight. To stay vigilant and await predators, porcupines have evolved keen auditory senses. This heightened hearing helps them detect the stealthy approach of predators such as snakes, hawks, and leopards. These silent hunters rely on surprise, and the porcupine's sharp ears are its best defense against being caught off guard. It's a testament to the remarkable ways in which animals adapt to their environments to ensure their survival. And there you have it, friends, the porcupine saga unfolds. From their secret tree climbing talents to quills that can both defend and heal, these creatures have proven that there's more to them than meets the eye. Remember, in the world of nature, surprises are everywhere, even in the most unexpected places like a spiky porcupine's embrace. So, whether you're an animal enthusiast or just someone looking for a dose of quirky entertainment, the porcupine's tale has something for everyone. Join us on our next adventure as we dive into the mysteries of the natural world, armed with curiosity and a dash of wit. Until then, stay sharp, stay curious, and stay tuned for more wild wonders. And that concludes our showcase of the today's topic. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, and relatives so that they too can enjoy videos on wild animals. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.